Welcome everybody to the Red G Fox channel. Thank you so much for joining us. And before we get going, if you just clicked on this and you said, what is this guy? What is this channel all about? Good time to join us because we are in the middle of a tournament where we are trying to vote with our community. You, even if you're not a member yet, you can come on there and vote anytime. Go to our community page and just look at all the tournaments we got. And we are in the middle of the best episode of season two. Yes. We've had round one. We know it went to, uh, oh my gosh, how did it just escape me? Jealousy. We know round one went to jealousy. Round two went to the card charge. Round three just got done, and that went to a guest in the yard with Gus. And now we are in round four, and this is the closest we've ever had. So we are going to break down all the episodes. Uh, it's it's not even a two-horse race. It is a three-horse race, which is exciting because we don't get that that often in these kind of polls. But we had a whole bunch of other tournaments. You can go check previous ones. We also have videos breaking it down, and that's what today is. We will have clips. We will some have some funny moments as we talk about each episode. And it's exciting. It's exciting because you go, what could any of these actually come out and win this tournament? Because you got three really good episodes. And then a fourth one that, unfortunately, like we say, is a sacrificial lamb. We will cover all of them. But I have to say, anytime it, I, you get a subscriber, I'm talking from experience me, from one to a thousand, it doesn't matter. It always feels the same. It's, yeah, it's excitement. Man, I don't care if it's 722 to 950. Yes, it's exciting to get subscribers. So thank you if you're already a subscriber. And if you're not, please click that subscribe button and join today. It means a lot to me and to our channel. But there is even a beyond that excitement that I haven't experienced yet until now. And that is with our membership, where you have a, a, a monthly fee, you join our community. And with that, we will have, it's growing, it's a new thing, but me, uh, membership only videos, we have one for now. And then we have a whole bunch of other emojis, uh, badges, all sorts of things like that. We're gonna eventually get members only chat, uh, members only live shows. Um, and with that, we have a member now, so I want to give us, and we will always do shout outs at some point in the video, beginning, middle, end, and that is Jim Offutt. Thank you so much, Jim Offutt. He is our first official, so it was huge. I just saw it on there. He joined, he became a member, and now he's got uh, all sorts of little badges. He got to go see our members only video. Now, if you join, once we get to four, this is the plan. We are going to have like seasonal, almost like a football season, a baseball season, a hockey season, where it's we're going to do every few months a new and start it over. And that is a game show challenge with a gift card prize at the end once we get enough. And it's going to be each few weeks we'll have episodes with game show challenges. You win it and then you get points. And then it, it, you try to see who's in first, second, third, fourth until the very end. And that will get a uh, gift card supplied by me, of course. But yeah, so join a membership today. It's only going to get better and bigger. So thank you very much. Shout out to Jim Offit for joining and becoming Reggie Fox, first official member. So with all that out of the way, let's get to it. Today, like we said, we're talking about, this is round four. I told you it's going to go fast. It's already been a month into this, and a whole month, and we've already got some great episodes who are carrying on to the finals. So here we go. Sanford Son, round four. Let's get to the first episode, and that is the big party. IMBD gives us a 7.7. I'm sorry. I'm giving this a 7.9 or 8.0. It is way too good to be 7.7. What's so big about the big party? The debut of Aunt Esther. Let's look at her first uh, real official I want to knock you out clip with between her and Fred. And if you lay one hand on me, I'll unscrew your arm from your shoulder and beat your brains out. <laughs> <laughs> I never get sick of that. Which is, I'll break your arm and beat you to death with it. That and it's so funny because this is our first introduction to her. And you get, right off the bat, we know how Fred feels about her, which is awesome. And then we get to see how she don't take any crap. And when she does this, I really believe Esther could beat up Fred. Regardless of how Fred acts tough, I believe like Esther could take care of him. So that alone, you're like, oh my gosh, this is going to probably win the tournament. And we'll get to it. It was actually winning uh, the first few days. It ain't in first anymore. Right now, 30%. It's got 30% of the votes. It was higher. It's actually come back down. Who the heck is jumping ahead of it? Anyways, in this one, Fred and Lamont, they need they need to pay their bills. They're not making enough money. So Fred comes up with an idea to open the, the junkyard into a nightclub for just one day to make enough money with the cover charge. And everything's going well till a couple of gangsters show up. Let's look at well, when they first meet the gangster. It's a dollar <laughs> per head. Or would you rather me make that one baseball bat per head? 
You in charge here, you and the olive. <laughs> don't excuse me, he's always like, yeah, yeah, you see? Almost like Edward G. Robinson. He's always got the shoulders to pull off that, you know, like a gangster whole vibe look. And Fred's like, hey, I can't do it. They can't handle it. And it gets in a whole bunch of stuff. But in the end, he, Fred even says he's all, the guy tells him he's all, did you call the cops? Fred's all, uh, no. He said, but you better get out of here. And something much worse comes, and that's Esther's Raiders. <laughs> when they come, Esther's like, no. She throws, he's all, you ain't throwing us out of here. Let's see what happens now, on this one. Now, is over. Get out. No, you can't throw us out. <laughs> oh, no. No. Get out. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> she gets them. She chases them all out of there. So Ed Esther's debut went better than you could imagine, right? We, if you know anything about backstory, Sanford and Son, and we've covered it on our channel multiple times. The, there was a, a producer who did not want LaWanda Page. They were to get rid of her. And Red Fox said, "No, no, no. She's staying, or I'm going too." And thank goodness Fred said that, or Red Fox said that, because he knew what she could be. What a great visionary Red Fox was. And this episode shows us, wow. Look what we got. We got a star in the making. Great first episode for Aunt Esther. And it is, in my opinion, at least a 7.9. But that's for our official channel, 7.9. But on here, 7.7. .7, funnier than heck. And we, everyone remembers they are like a Playboy club. And they got their own Playboy bunny. <laughs> you can see it right here. Remember Bubba when he's all, here, bunny, bunny, bunny. When he's had a tough night and slid down the stairs. So it's got so much funny, memorable scenes in it that we can't even cover. We've already covered. By the way, if you ever say, hey, you know what? I actually do like this guy talking about my favorite show and you want to see clips and us break it down. All these episodes are on our previous. Go to season two breakdown. They are all in there, all the way up to rated X, which we'll get to eventually on this. Um, but these are all there where we break it down and go through all the funny stuff with clips. That being said, yes, this is 30%, but it's not in first place. And, I, and I'm starting to be a little shocked. But there's a good reason why, and we will get to that. Next up on our uh, list in this one is Fred and Carol and Fred and Donna. That is at 24%. It's only six. That, I can't remember any time when we had the one and done characters, anything, that there was a three horse race. There was always two. You know, you might have had a third kind of, you know, maybe 12%, the other guy at 20 and the other one at 40, where you're like, eh, I don't see it. This, I still don't know. We still got another four days or so left, and I have no clue who's going to win this. But with Fred, Carol, Fred, and Donna, that is 7.7 .7 IMBD. So they gave it to the same grade. IMBD gave it the same grade that Big Party got. I feel like Big Party's a little better. In this one, Fred gets in trouble because he meets Carol, who comes by. Not not Carol Rhodes. The other Carol, who comes by, and she's, she's a charming lady, and she's sell, selling stuff door to door, and Fred... Spends a whole afternoon talking with her and he really likes her. So now she's coming back for dinner and Lamont finds out. And Lamont's like, wait a minute, don't you have a date with uh, Donna? He's all, shoot, that's right. So Fred tries to cancel with Donna. But thank you, Lamont, for being a rat. We know he always feels bad at this stage in the series history about the Barracuda. But now he's had a change of heart. He, come on, Donna. No, no, he wants you to come over and cook. So it becomes a huge mess where they're all there. When they get there and you see Lamont, that's what really puts the episode to me. I even mentioned when we did the breakdown, this is one of my favorite with Lamont to where I really laugh. I probably laugh more at Lamont than anyone else in this episode, other than maybe Fred saying, yeah, you know, it's good to have uh, best friends. And Lamont's like, who's your best friend, Bubba? He's all, no, Jesus. Because <laughs> he's so worried with the two girls going on each side of him. And he's like praying to God, you know, to get him out of this trouble. But it, yeah, Lamont, and then the best is when we got a show when Donna says, oh, you know, he, no one can cook like you, Miss Davis. I mean, he's so Eddie Haskell from Leave it to Beaver. Let's look at that clip. Would you like to stay for dinner? Oh, may I? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. When he does that, I, I never get sick of that. When he gets up, he's all... May I? He's so excited to stay when she asks him. He only wants to stay to see a, a, a basically a car accident. That's what it's like for Lamont. He wants to watch his car accident happen live in front of him. So great episode. They end up fighting. None of them want Fred. And somehow Fred pulls it up and patches them up all together where he's got a date with Carol and he's got a date with Donna. He smooths it over. And even Lamont's like, man, I don't know how you pulled this off. But very funny episode. I we talked about how it's not in my top 20, but it is a probably top 60. It is really good. And as it shows right here, 7.7 .7 IMBD, and most of fans feel the same as well. 24%. So you're like, okay, let's get to the, the, the episode that's actually in first place. 
and that is a visit from Lena Horn. You know, it's so tough because you're like, you look at this and you're like, if if the big party and Lena Horn were in two different brackets, you know, could could one of these beat a guest in the yard? My guess is yes. I love the episode with Gus. I think it's hilarious, guest in the yard. But I'm sorry. Big party I like uh, later in life. I saw uh, that one. Later in life, I had appreciation more for the big party, and I think I would enjoy that more. I would put that to me over that. Comment below. Would you put Guest in the Yard ahead of this? But with this one, a visit from Lena Horn. that's all. It's the horn. That's all you got to say, and you know this is going to be a top episode, a fan favorite. Now, check the IMBD. IMBD gives it an 8.2, and it is well-deserved. Yes, I'm okay if it was 8.0, because I think back in... It is a great episode. It feels a little slow at times when he's walking through the dressing room waiting for her when she shows up. But the fact that Fred gets to meet Lena Horn, that's that's outstanding, you know? And one of our listeners uh, even commented in this in this uh, bracket where they're talking about it. They said, you know what? And, and I'll, I'll write their name on here and show their profile picture because the name escaped me right now. But uh, the, I'll give them credit. But they did. They said, you know what? They really liked the big party, and they were going to go with that because it's Esther's debut. But they said, you know what? We see Esther about another 50 times or whatever, how many times. You don't ever see Lena Horn again in Sanford and Son. And I said, you know what? If I could vote, I think that's a great argument. I think that swings my vote. And before I know it, other people did too. And I don't know if it's because of that comment or more people who saw that, who like a uh, visit from Lena Horn, just started jumping on the polls. Because ever since then, it went from second place, four point or so percent back, to now having an 8%, it might even be higher now, lead on uh, the big party and Aunt Esther. But with this, we get Fred at NBC. How could you not love, here's Johnny, here's Johnny's car. <laughs> Let's look at that clip. <laughs> here's Johnny's car. <laughs> I love that. I never get tired of him. Here's Johnny. And it would crack me up. And I always hate when the mod's like embarrassed. You know, he's mad at his dad. He even gets to get some of Flip Wilson's oil. I know you didn't call me over to see Flip Wilson's oil, Fred, when his buddies come over. But then he sneaks around. So we get to see NBC Studios. We get to see Flip Wilson's oil. And then we get to see Lena uh, Horn's dressing room. And she comes out. And Fred about loses it. Uh, obviously, who wouldn't? But all the times he said, and we just watched the episode where we're talking about it, where he's saying uh, with um, Lamont as Othello, go watch that video. We just did that one. Oh, I absolutely love doing that one. That one's so fun. But he's like, at 10 o'clock, it's just me and the horn. You know, don't interrupt. And uh, he'd already got to meet her. So to me, you'd think he'd be like, yeah, Lamont should be like, let me join you, Pop. You know, he got a kiss. Or maybe he did. He chased after her. But yeah, in this episode, so he, him and Lena Horn, great uh, chemistry together. But when he gets her to say, oh, little, is he lame? And he's like, yeah, yeah. Remember, she puts her hand on him and look at Fred's face right here. <laughs> He can't believe it. Lena Horn is touching him. He's like, yeah, yeah, he's lame. Little lame Lamont. So he now he goes back and he tells all his buddies, hey, man, I got Lena Horn coming here. And then his friends are like, I think uh, Fred drank some of uh, uh, Flip Wilson's oil. <laughs> and then we get Leroy and Skillet, right? This is their first episode as well. So, man, you got Lena Horn, the introduction of Leroy and Skillet. Great hearing their voices, even though they're in five episodes each. You know, you feel like they're in a whole season worth of stuff. And they don't believe it. He gets them to come back. And Lena Horn, we've done this episode breakdown, but you get Lena Horn kissing Fred and, and Lamont. Lamont has the heart attack. Remember, we just had that fun fact with him, Bubba, and Fred. They're the first three to have heart attacks in the show. But he's like, it's the big one. And, and uh, your son, and he's coming with the mustache. <laughs> so... <laughs> So this one's got everything. Nothing is better than at the end, as you see right here, when Fred gets a kiss from Lena Horn, when she's all, is this for real? Is this for real, real? And then takes off and everyone runs after her. I got my 15. So this episode, when I look at it and I go, man, I really love the big party. I really love Lena Horn. I wouldn't put Carol and Fred and Fred and Donna. I wouldn't put that one ahead of this. I would put it third place, right? Like as it's slotted. But you could see a lot of people are voting for it. So in the end, when you look at these, I might, uh, the, the person there who said that probably kind of would persuade me to say, you know what, you're right. This is the only time we get Lena Horn. And we get, and, and even with this one, the big, the big Party was a great episode. It had so many funny moments. Uh, I really do like the Lena Horn. So I'm leaning towards that. Comment below, what are your thoughts on it? What, are you, what would you pick? And we got to do our last one. It's only got 8%. You know, uh, it's, it's a funny one. 
but it is rated only 7.4 and i feel that's of all of them i feel that's the best most uh it's a funny one, so it's over 7, 7.4. It, it means to me, it's like, yeah, pretty decent. And that is the light housekeeper where we know uh, Mary, who's a white housekeeper, comes to assist Fred, who's injured. And then it's mostly, you know, jokes playing off of uncomfortableness uh, or when she's like, Bubba, what's a Bubba? And then remember, he, when he's walking away, he's like, yeah, uh, Bubba ain't too bright. Or no, no, she's all Bubba ain't too bright. Fred's like, yeah, he's about my color. <laughs> so it's got some memorable scenes and it's funny. But in the end, you're like, eh, it doesn't compare to these. But we got, we're putting all the episodes up to give a fair chance. In the end, 8% are still, you know, of people are still voting for it. That shows how great this show is. That that even people who go, you know what, man, I've seen all these shows. I love this show. And you look at these and you go, dude, The Lighthouse Keeper, that's my, that's mine. I love that one. And you're clicking and voting for it. And when everyone, majority are going, no, 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 man, it's Lena Horne. Or another big chunk is going, hey, no, 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 it's and Esther's debut. I mean, that just shows how great the show is. Um, because there's other shows where I'm like, oh, you tell me a show, I could say this is my top three episodes, factual. Sanford and Son, you know, I could say, yeah, Papa's baby, uh, Papa's ma maybe, Mama's baby, whatever. I could say that's one. After that, it gets murky. There's there's like 15 that I love you could put in any order. And then there's a bunch like these at the bottom. So this is always fun doing this. Um, I know we got our Tuesday shows. Go check them out where we break down every episode. But Fridays could be anything. Last week, go see that where it was all about Red Fox. A quick little uh, bio biography before and after and during Sanford and Son. What happened in his life and how did he get to each situation. But that's what you get on this channel. If you are watching, you're not going to get complete episodes. I can't do that. Even Sanford and Son YouTube doesn't do that, right? Because there's no money in it. They got it. You got to go see it on NBC, uh, Peacock, or on Amazon, where you can stream it and they make money. So on this channel, I will give you everything I can that is legal and not going to be blocked. So if you love Sanford and Son, this is a good channel to get used to hanging out with and getting to know uh, our community. We do have a live show coming this Saturday. I just got to find out the time, if it's going to be 6, 7, or 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We will do a live show. I will announce and put it up what episode it will be where I watch it here on my mini DVD player. You watch it at home on your TV or DVD player and then... Maybe watch me on your phone or streaming device. And then we just comment, crack up, and laugh and enjoy it. I love doing those. We haven't done those in like three weeks because I've been super busy. Got to make time for that because in the end, that's what it's all about. Sanford Son and us hanging out laughing about it. So have a great week. Enjoy your weekend. And we will see you tomorrow night on the live show. Talk to you later. Peace. Yeah.